Welcome to TraditionalAmericanHunter.com. I'm Melissa and I'm going to walk you through how to DIY your own European school mount at home. First, I'm going to build a fire in my backyard. Also, be sure to clear off all the pine straw so that you don't create a forest fire in your yard. A great way to honor an animal is to make a European skull mount so that you can look at it on your wall and remember that animal and their presence. Do you want a hair tie? No. The whole time you're gonna it's gonna be in your face. I'm not gonna do it. And you're gonna be touching your face. No, I won't. Just put it in a hair tie. It's fine. The second you need a hair tie, send me inside, okay, I'll grab one. I will. Okay. This is the easy method. We do not have a pressure washer. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you all about it. Um, I bought the extra OxyClean because the OxyClean can turn the meat into like a gel-like substance, which makes it a lot easier to clean. I have a scrub brush, which I got at the Dollar General. A little bit dirty. We'll clean that later. And I got these dental tools, also at the Dollar General. These are wire brushes. A very sharp hunting knife. I also went to Sally Beauty Supply, which is basically in every single hometown in America. Um, if you're a girl, you know exactly what Sally Beauty Supply is. Um, you can go and get hair supplies there. I got a mixing bowl and one brush. And also the 40 Volume Cream uh, Salon Care, which they sell in the hair color department. Uh, normally you mix it with hair color to make your hair blonde. Um, however, we're going to be bleaching the skull with this. And last but not least, you need a skull with antlers, preferably. You can also do it to a doe, a pig, um, basically any animal that you want to European skull mount. It's possible. A squirrel, you never know. <laughs> this buck has a story. Um, it was actually taken on our land in North Georgia, and it was taken by Ryan. He um, is the hunter for Traditional American Hunter. I'm sure you've seen his videos by now. And he took this with a muzzle loader, and that was just in our, basically our backyard. And yeah, it was a beautiful buck, and we would love to honor its memory by making European skull mount. Okay, so we have our deer head and we have our very sharp knife. So be careful not to cut yourself. Um, the easiest way to do this is to start at the base of the nose and to go all the way up through the skull and then literally just peel it away and start cutting. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on that. table like this I just decided to, to pick the antler up and actually put something underneath it um, it just felt like it was rubbing a little bit too hard um.
there. This is the exciting part when it comes off. All your hard labor. Oh goodness. <laughs> we did it! Okay, now just push that over there. surface so do whatever you can just make it level this big heavy pot's gonna go on there which is gonna help it level out tremendously okay let's get started okay oh thank you Ryan so grab a partner a friend a boyfriend a child to help you move this large pot it's extremely heavy So if you check out here, you can see that the antlers are poking out. However, the water is fully covering the entire skull. So one little trick I like to use is extra with OxyClean. You can also just use OxyClean or just use dish soap. However, I really like OxyClean because it seems to take the meat and sort of make it into a jelly. So it's a little bit easier to get off the bone, especially if you don't have a pressure washer, which I don't have. So you just take a little bit in the cup, like so. You don't want to overdo it because then it's going to boil over and be a horribly soapy mess. You just put a little bit in, kind of gauge it. Okay, maybe a little bit more than that. And then put this in there, like so. And that's it. Make sure that your flame doesn't get too high. You do not want this on a huge high boil the entire time. You want it on a medium to low simmer. So one bubble every, you know, two, three seconds is okay, but a raging boil, that's not okay. That's gonna damage your bone. So if you don't wanna do the whole campfire thing, that's completely okay. All you have to do is find any sort of a burner. You can do it outside or inside on the stove and just put it on like a medium low and you'll be good to go. This is gonna boil for about one hour. I'm gonna check it after 45 minutes. I might scrape off some of the big pieces and then redo it. Um, put it back in for a little bit longer. It's kind of like a roast. You just keep checking it until it's done. Okay, so we're back and we are going to create this European skull mount that we've been working on. We have boiled it for an hour. I went ahead and changed into some outdoor wear. It's a little bit chilly out and this will protect my clothing. So let's get started. So this is what it looks like. 
when you first pull it out. It's really meaty, um, it's fully cooked. So it helps to grab a little scrub brush or something to get off some of these larger chunks. You are gonna have to just sort of grab into here as well. Keep that in mind. Right now I'm cutting around as close to the bone as I can. I'm just cutting this meat free and then I'm gonna pull it out as soon as I get the big chunks eliminated from the bone here. boiling it for another 35 45 minutes you can see how much wider this skull is and how much easier this meat is to get off that's a little trick you can do is while it's still on the pot just lift it up I mean I didn't get it on film but oops all these brains just literally just poured out it was it was amazing and saved me 30 minutes of work so now this last bit, these little pieces are really nice and soft, really easy to get off. They just peel right off the bone, which is really nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, it just peels literally right off. <laughs> this is what traditional American Hunter is all about. So right now I'm delicately grabbing all this cartilage out from the nasal cavity. You can see it here. You wanna be really careful and just take your time because all these little delicate bones, you don't wanna break. Anything that's this solid white and it's kinda, of, it's not super hard, it's cartilage and it all has to come off. So what I did is I boiled it for about 30 more minutes and then cleaned as much as I could off, scraped off as much meat as I could and then when it started to get a little bit hard, I went ahead and boiled it again for another 30 minutes. I have this Tupperware of hot water and I've added some dish detergent and also the laundry detergent that I originally added to the pot of boiling water and I'm just gonna give it a really good cleaning to sanitize it and then get any more chunks of meat that I can off. So we're just gonna come in here and really go at it. And this is hot water, again, with a combination of dish soap and laundry detergent with OxyClean. Because some of these pieces are absolutely impossible to get out and you're never gonna get 100% of them. So I always use to get about 95%. And then what I do is I bake the rest and then it gets really dry and flaky. Step. Well, actually our second to last step is the 40 cream developer. Pour some in here. Mm -hmm. 
like so. And also take this brush and start to paint it on. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna bleach your skull to get rid of the yellow and brown. Do not get this on your antlers. It will bleach your antlers, so be really careful. For the skull, you can leave this on as long as you want, depending on the look that you're going for. I actually like it to be a little bit of a natural color. I don't like the really bleached out white look. I think it looks fake. And I prefer a little bit of cream color to the skull. I think it has a nice effect. This is a cream developer, which is basically a form of peroxide. Normally it's used to mix with hair colors to bleach your hair lighter. However, we are gonna be using it on the skull. And you just wanna make sure that you get in all these crevices here. All the little crevices. And remember, be careful of the antlers because it will bleach your antlers. So do not get any on the antlers. And just paint in the eye sockets. Paint all around, especially the teeth because those those get really gross. So we're back and as you can see, we have finished our European school mount. What I did is I left the bleach on for about 30 minutes and I wasn't getting the result that I wanted. So I went ahead and put it in the oven on 325 for 30 minutes and wow, it bleached it right away, which was great. As you can see, it's really white, um, but not quite that bright white that I'm not going for. So on the back here, all you have to do is put a big nail in your wall and just Hang it on that nail. You can also take a wire and you could run it through as a loop and then hang that on a nail, which is really nice as well. Very secure on your wall. So there you have it. Here is our finished European skull mount from Traditional American Hunter. If you enjoy our channel, please subscribe. TraditionalAmericanHunter.com